Okay, y'all, what is good, everyone? It is your boy, JJ that dude, and I am back on some Dog World Pass videos. You know what I'm saying? Now, this one is just going to be all together with Smasher Pass and Tier List together. So, pretty much anyone that's a girl character, I'll do the Smasher Pass or Smash Leave da -da 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 -da, catch the drift of it, along with the Tier List. So, I'm describe the character and go from there. Now, of course, I am not including Biaki. Well, I'm not including the regular Byaki Togami, or I'm not including Kyoko or Makoto Nayagi, just because they're not there that long, and even if then, it, I'm sure sure they're going to be same, if not a little bit better than their original thing. So, honestly, I don't feel like I'm going to do that. But I, add, I did add three other characters that are from the actual sh show, well, the anime, so they, oh, three of them are added in there. Everyone else, they're not added. Like the other guy characters, they're not. So I'm just going to name the characters that are added in here just so people know who they are. So for example, Chisa is in here. Sato is added. And Afuhiko's sister, Natsumi Kuzuryu, is in there. Those three are mainly in there. I'm letting y'all know ahead of time. That way, y'all not confused like, oh, i never seen this character. Where are they from? Oh, they're literally from that other thing. So yeah, this is just for y'all to let y'all know about it. Let y'all know what's happening, so on and so forth. And going from there. So, without further ado, let us get right into the video. So, the first person we have is Akane Owari. Which pretty much, is, she's kind of like a, a yoi. But hold up, y'all. Y'all give me one little second real quick. Give me a second. I, okay, my bad, y'all. I apologize. I, I had to go out there because the Dobby video with Toga video was acting a little funny. But I had to fix that real quick. So we're all good now. But anyway, next person, which is Akane. Akane, obviously, you know, she always wants to fight. You know, she likes to fight Nekomaru. I mean, makes sense. Though, but she, she's a little, you know, she's a little bit lazy, though. She's a big eater. She likes to eat, though. I got no wrong, wrong with that. I love eating. You know, I love my girls that eat. You know what I'm saying? But then, you know, she could be a little bored, she could be happy, her, 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 I don't know, her motivation is kind of lackluster. So it kind of sucks, though, but she is kind of easygoing, she's very loyal, she protects her friends. She's very, you know, like I said, she loves food a lot. But though she be kind of, she kind of goes a little crazy, I mean, she kind of making some crazy statements. And it close to her chest, and everything of that nature. And she's kind of gullible to believe anything, I'm just going to keep it up, she just believes about everything. She's kind of like a yoy. But the more dumber version of her. And, you know, there's something like, she, you know, I'm going to just say in the best way, but I'm going to say SH for very, you know, very specific reasons of why not. And I don't want to get hit by some nonsense from YouTube. So, I'm going to say it's a bad thing and it's harassment. And it begins in the before then, it's an S and then harassment. So, yeah, she's kind of got hit with that, you know, a little bit. And it's just normal for her. Which is why she does things with her chest a lot. But though, she does get some good massages from Nekomaru. Nekomaru so I will give her that, though. But she'll usually do it, though, as like an apology or for the reward someone. And she will be naked in front of you. She will be naked in front of you. But she doesn't like wearing swimsuits for some apparent reason. And she, you know, she's a little embarrassed about romance, but, you know. She's okay, though. But if I had to go off there out of how she is as a character... I honestly would just give her an A- minus to an A tier, to be fair. It's around there, but I think out of respect, I'll just give her A- minus just because I might get a lot of people A tier or S tier. And I don't know who's going to be at the A or who I'm going to put at the S tier as greatly. But if I want to change her, I'll change it. But for right now, I'll say A- minus, even though she's a really great character. I will give her that, though. Next one, which is Alter Ego Junko. Obviously, it's just a simple thing. I mean, obviously... She's, she loves despair. Same thing as Dog World 1. Just, she's more of a computer girl. I think it makes sense that I, that I can't smash a computer. But if we're talking about the real thing, of course, it's a smash and leave. Just like the other Junko. It's that simple. I think we can all understand and agree why I'm saying that. But yeah, her character ranking, I'd give her an A+. And oh yeah, I forgot. I gotta give Akane a smash or a pass. Which would be a smash and a leave. I forgot I forgot to mention that. So smash and leave for Makane, smash and leave for Alter Ego, 
Actually, no. Pass for Alter Ego Jinko. But if she's a real girl or a real woman, that'd be a smashing lead. So there you go. So just to get it out the way, A minus for Akane, Smash and Leaf, Alter Ego Junko, Pass, unless she's a human, then it's a Smash and Leaf. And her character, I'd give her a, an A, you know, just A plus. I wouldn't give her an S, because I didn't really get the well. I mean, she's just like Junko. I mean, we don't, I don't give her S's like that. There's only a few characters that get S tiers around here. But y'all catch my y'all catch my drift though. And, and I could go out there the long ways about it, but what she's been wanting to do, what her tra her plan, plan is, but I don't think we care about that as much. If y'all want me to go out there to the long ways of explaining how Junko and Nishima is a menace, we can do a video on that. Let me know in the comments if I should do that, though. But we'll see how that goes, though. Oh, yeah, Byakyo Togami as the imposter one. He's kind of more friendly compared to that other Togami, but, you know, he was a good character, and I was ashamed that he did kind of die. They had a little arrogant, they had a little rude, you know, as Biakia's character, that's his character. But look, even though he really died as quick, I'll give him a tier, because he died, you know, he went away so quick, and he did his job well, because he helped the others to get another, what's the word I'm looking for? A chance to, you know, thrive, or to do something with great excellence, with great execution. And he was kind of cooking, Loki, he was kind of cooking, though. And honestly... He made the whole game kind of go on, honestly. But I kind of blame Future Foundation, and I kind of blame Junko at the exact same time. It's kind of on both of them. I'm not going to lie to you. It's kind of on both of them. Let's keep it a buck. But yeah, y'all know how it goes. And he was being smart about it, though, too. Now, we have one of the best girls in the game. If y'all know, y'all know who this is. This is Chiaki Nanami. She's one of the best girls. No one can add me on that. She's one of the best girls in the game. Heck, I think even in the whole Dog World series, to be fair... She's either top three or she's top one. There's no debate. Top one, top two, top three. She has to be one of those. I mean, she's like the greatest character of all times. Because look, I can understand if you pick Kyoko up there or even Kaede as one of the best top three girls up there along with Chiaki. But Chiaki got to be top three, at least for you. If you played the whole entire game for Dog Warfare 1, 2, and 3. You know why. And this is whether you refer to the actual show or you refer to the actual game. Because the show, she was amazing. And even in the game, she was great as well. But I'm just going off the game because that's what I mean going off of. Except when I'm going after the other three girls, which y'all know who I'm referring to. But anyway, yeah, I mean, she's the ultimate gamer. I mean, she helps you a lot during the trials. Like, just how Kyoko does. Very smart. Even though, yes, yeah, she might have her little thing where she can be a little sleepy at times. And all that stuff. And she might be a little focused on the game and all that stuff. And she might doze off by playing video games. She might do a little pauses when she's doing her conversation. She might do that. And she might be even a little bit forgets how to breathe sometimes while she's playing the game. I mean, on her own thing. But look, y'all, look. She doing her own thing and she be doing it beautifully. She out there vibing. She's always stirring and blitting honest. And look, y'all know I love my girls that are honest. Any girl that's honest and keeps it real with me, that's what I love the most. You know what I'm saying? And she can be very, you know, observant. She knows she's... She might like a little knowledge on, like, romance and stuff, but she all right, though, in my opinion. She's cool, you know. I respect her a lot. That's a, you know, great character. And plus, look, I mean, she got the physical appearance. I don't have to say too much, but y'all know what I'm talking about. If y'all know what I'm talking about, about that scene, yeah, you, yeah, Smash and Mary, there's no debates. I don't think I have to explain it. And she's a great S-tier character. I mean, come on. Do I really need to explain why she's the S-tier character? Not only she's the best waifu, but she's actually like the literal Kyoko of the whole daggone game. Just is that she's the ultimate gamer rather than the ultimate detective. She actually does her job really well. And she actually wants to help. And risked her life to save people. And even admit that she worked for Future Foundation just so that no one else died. And she was made as a robot. Like, what? Come on, Smash Mary, that's night no debate. Don't even, no one can question me on that. All right, next one, which is Fuyuhiko. I'm going to try to make this as simple as I can. But I didn't like him at first, but when you meet him near the end of it, or near the middle way of the end, or actually, I guess the middle way, and then he gets better. So, yeah, he, he was pretty rude back then, I mean, a little bit afterwards. He was, he, you know, he's a Yakuza, I mean, it makes sense. He had the lone attitude, like, he wanted to be by himself. You know what I'm saying? 
But, you know, he still, he, he low-key cares about people, you know what I'm saying? He could be a little angered, you know? He could be threatening people. He threatens me kind of a lot. And I mean a lot. Then my hero didn't like him. I mean, it was like kind of like a, I don't like you, you don't like me type of thing. You start this, I start that. It, it, it was like a back and forth type of thing. But, excluding all that, and he was doing good, I give him an A tier. And when Peko Pekiyama died, I mean A. His, his character changed a lot, like I said. And I like this character. He was pretty cool, in my opinion. Especially when the whole Mika and Hajime thing going on, you know, so it was pretty cool, though. So I actually appreciate him. I'll give him an A tier, though. Gundam Tanaka. I mean, he kind of got a dark soul of personality. Do be thinking that he is straight up Goku <laughs> and thinking he's Vegeta at the exact same time. He's like, I have my power level rising. Merge from within with my dark devas of destruction. Like, like, bro, what? Shut your goofy tail up. I don't care about that Gundam. But, hey, everyone loves it, though. I'm promise you, everyone loves it, though. But, but uh, what I will say... Well, I'm going to hang on for a second. What I will say, though, is that he is pretty cool, though. I mean, in his own way. I mean, he's cool in his own role-playing type of way. I will give him that. He is pretty cool in his own weird role-playing way. That's just me being honest, though. That's just me being honest, though. Then we have um, him being the ultimate breeder, which is pretty good, though. Which, but anyway, I mean, he went out there and he fought um, Necromaru and he died. And that brother, who was, when he was a robot at the time, which I, if y'all gonna ask what he looked like when he was a robot, please don't ask about that. I, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I gotta make the video as simple and short as I can, cause I don't want it. Because it might be as long as that, on fifty minutes. I don't want it to be that long. You know what I'm saying? I don't want it to be that long, but I want it to be a decent amount. Cause I gotta save some of the parts for Dog Robot Three. So let me, let me have to, let me sum it up a little bit. But yeah, he's A tier though. I mean, he's really great and he's really high up there. And he actually did his job pretty well, even with his whole what's what's it called execution. Even with that thing was going pretty good. So I'll give him that. Hatsume Hinata, who is the main protagonist of Nagaroba 2. I like, I think I liked Hajime Hinata, I think second most, or even number one most. Because he's the type of guy that's kind of cynical. He's like, I don't know about this. And that's what you got to do. You have to doubt some things. Because you can't just be all happy about it and expect everything to be so easy to do. And that's just, that's just me, though. That's just me. You can't expect, you know, everything to be just easy and everyone can do this and that. Like, it, it will not work. That's not going to work. Which was the problem. But, you know, he's, he's quite skeptical, which I appreciate him being skeptical. Because I think I like a main protagonist that doesn't just always think about hope and actually is just, you know, just not, you know, always believing in hope and just, you know, more focused on the fact that, hey, yeah, this thing right here doesn't make sense how about we handle this issue right here that type of thing you know what i'm saying because it makes more sense that i would be more focused on checking out what the heck's going on here than you know some other nonsense you know he tells you know he tells around with his classmates too you know he has that little smiling thing you know he might be a little blunt he might be a little snarky you know what i'm saying he might have his little moments but he pretty cool though and I think I, I think he was a really great main protagonist, honestly. And honestly, like, I think, like, Lily Loki, I would give Mater, honestly. I mean, he was a really great protagonist. He's not great compared to the other one, Dog Rope 3 protagonist, which I'll mention later. But he's really close up there. I think he's top two, like I said, uh, when it comes to Dog Rope. Because I didn't like Makoto only because all he had was hope going on and just the voice. I'm sorry. That's just probably the one thing that probably set me off. I was like... I don't know. I don't know if I really want to do that type of thing. You know what I'm saying? It just kind of felt kind of like, eh. You know what I'm saying? It just kind of felt like it was there, honestly. And he's not just willingly just opening up to everyone. You know, that's what Hajime is not, not, not trying to do, which I appreciate that. Now, Hyoko Sayonji. Okay. Well, of course, she's supposedly cute or whatever and childlike, but pretty much a douchebag. I'm sorry. She she's a menace. She's a cruel, just cruel. Just got the all nothing but malice in that thing. Anytime she says, "Hey, let me squish Mister Ant," yep, just squish it just because it makes a noise. Boom. Yeah, nah, I'd be annoyed trying to deal with her. 
And then she literally would call you a wuss for not trying to join her side, which is actually insane. And all that stuff, which is absolutely ridiculous. And she's just very terrible as a person. Which, I didn't like that. And then I liked the point when literally she got roasted, bro. Because she was out there talking that mad junk. A con and Nick Marnita was out there laughing. And then Akana said, no, it's you. You stink. And I was laughing. I was like, yeah, she needs she need some punishment. Then that girl really just said, oh, why are you being mean to me? No, we ain't being mean to you. You got to take some punishment, though. You're not going to just disrespect us and think that's where we're going to let it slide, though. Like, you need to get disrespected a little bit. But, yeah, she does swear sometimes. And she's like a little kid. She looks like, you know, if you, I show you all the picture, though, but. She's like this small. Now, we're talking now, okay. So but anyway, moving on. I didn't really like her character and she just talked she just talks junk to me, Khan. And I know someone's in the comments gonna be like, Oh, but JJ, what about you know, Mekon and uh not Mekon, but uh Hioka when she's older though. What about her? Is it she better? No. She's literally the exact same person, just more taller and older. But I will give you your benefit of doubt and say this now. She's going to have to take a C tier. And if I had to go for the Smash Pass, the small one, right? The small one is a pass. The growth birth one is a smash and a leave. I would not deal with her for so long. She can go away. I'm going to kick her to the dirt. Kick her to the curb. That simple as that. Keeping it going. All right. Ibuki, which is another one of the characters that I liked in Nagoro 2, which was an underrated favorite of mine. I mean... I mean, she was kind of, you know, upbeat. I mean, I kind of liked her personality. She was kind of unique, too. Had her own music thing going. Very energetic, you know. You know, she might be a little bizarre at times. So she might forget things and all that stuff. But, I mean, she has, like, a, I think she has enhanced hearing. With, I think it worked out for, like, the second trial. I mean, the first trial, I think, with Teru Teru and stuff. Which is pretty good, though. I mean, I kind of liked her, you know, having enhanced hearing. It was pretty fun, pretty cool, in a way, in my opinion. She was pretty cool, in my opinion. So it kind of worked out, though. And she kind of breaks the fourth wall sometimes, but I mean, it's okay, though. And then, you know, she tends to, you know, foam at the mouth and all stuff, but nothing wrong with that. I mean, hey, we there's sometimes people just foam at the mouth. They're all good. You know how it is. You know how it is. And, of course, I think someone mentioned to me, somewhere, I think, on Discord mentioned that she likes cute girls, and she admires, you know, the girls, so she can act a little, she, she kind of bi, you know what I'm saying, which, hey, if you like that, hey, y'all go for it. If y'all like bi girls, hey, go for it. But look, in my opinion, my opinion, I'll say Smash and Mary. I think Smash and Mary is, like, the best choice for her, or Smash and Date, honestly. You can say Smash and Date, but I'll say Smash and Mary. I mean, there's nothing really wrong with her or nothing. She has her own music that she likes. She's always upbeat. She's always happy. She's always unique. It can always help me out. She can always motivate me by being, you know, herself, which, hey, that actually helps out. But, yeah. But as a character-wise, I honestly would give her... Honestly, I'd give her a minus only because I would have liked her to stay a little bit longer. I think the, the other deaths could have been involving with her, but she had to be involved with a two-time murder thing, which... I felt like it probably shouldn't have been that then. It should have probably been the next next one could have been like that. But, I mean, it kind of sucked. But, cause I, you know, because I liked her as a character. Kind of like with My Hero. I feel like My Hero actually, well, don't get me wrong. I felt like My Hero was going to get cooked anyway. But, I feel like, because, I mean, like, literally, let's be honest. If your ability is just to have a camera or to be able to take pictures of something, that's not really a great, what you call, like, ultimate ability that's like going out there and just saying i can brush my teeth really good in the best and fast efficient way possible like what what no i don't want to hear that but anyway yeah um yeah anyway like i said a minus smashing mary i mean yeah smashing mary i think we're good with that izuru the supposed villain that we didn't see as much now i'm sorry i'm gonna keep it above with y'all now some of y'all might like him some of y'all might not like him i'm gonna be honest with you I did not get the hype. Don't get me wrong. He's strong. He can overpower Nagito's luck and Makoto's hope and all that stuff. Which, if we're going off that, then yes. In the show, sure. I'll go out there and I'll give him an A tier. I'll give him A minus. Heck, I'll even give him A plus if I really wanted to. But no, in the show, we didn't get much of it. 
So all we know is that Nagito was talking to Izuru come on more and then that was about it is this right here the other scene right then and there that's about it we didn't get much else other from that which is actually insane why didn't we couldn't be me i guess but it's like they didn't want to say much about it and i'm just like okay i guess i guess that's what we're going to go off of but look in my opinion i didn't really see much of them other from that now if we're going off of what i said about him stopping nagito's luck and the lucky tools luck is kind of broken then sure i'll go out there and i'll give him a minus out of the hope of app appreciation but if, if we're not talking about that he just gets a c minus i mean i felt like he his character was just kind of mid i'm not i'm just keeping the buck i'm, I'm just all just kind of mid i'm just keep, i think i was kind of mid i'm just being honest I think we, I think, I think, think some people can respect that at least. Now, like I said, if we're talking about show and with, with the whole Nagito canceling the look thing, sure, like I said, A minus. But if we're not, just C minus, push him out. All right, Kazuichi Soda, obviously, you know, he likes Sonya, never mind, which, you know, she's a princess. I mean, we already get why. But yeah, you know, he's kind of carefree, kind of acting a little smooth with it. I mean, he'd be, he be cool, though. I mean, he kind of cool, though. Dude's out here trying to mess me up when I was trying to shoot my shot, though. At someone else, but... Chiaki, but, yeah, I mean... We were cooking, though, Loki, though. But sometimes he'd be blurring things out. Bad liar. He's terrible at everything. But, he, hey, he, he's good with machines, though. That's what I can respect. A man that's good with machines, hey. That's what I always appreciate about the brothers, man. They always be good with the machines, hey. I always appreciate them. And, hey, Hajime and him, we're like... They were like soul brothers. You know what I'm saying? They're like soul brothers. And yeah, he does be bugging them though. He does be bugging them though, about hanging out with them though, which kind of which kind of is crazy. But hey, I can't really say much about it honestly. But hey, they just be on some nonsense sometimes. But but that's out of that. I feel like you know he's around a B plus to A minus. I mean, the only reason I'd probably give him A minus is because he lasted the longest, and I'm surprised he stayed up that long. Compared to other characters, but I will say that um, uh, I will say that I would put him at a minus. I mean, a minus just because of that. So I think I'd give him a minus, honestly, out of respect. If we're going off the respect for, for not, we're just giving him a B plus. That's honestly that's my best opinion about. It. Now my hero. Now my hero is another underrated person as well. Who's gonna get a B plus? But I would say Smash and Mary as well for her case as well. Out of respect. But let me go out there and talk about her though. I mean, obviously she's optimistic. I mean, she's not afraid to speak her mind, which that's probably why y'all know I'm a picker. If anyone speaks their mind, hey, we got to love and respect that. That's out of respect to everyone else out there. And it always works out like a charm. But, you know, and she comes out as confident. You know, she she's kind of confident, but she got a little self issues, which ain't, which, and she also has a very high expectation of men, which. Hey, I'd be that high. I'd be doing high expectations too. I, I, I would. I for sure would. You know, she's kind of abrasive towards it because you know she wants them to be able to do this, do that, and all stuff. But she's more friendlier to girls, and she usually photographs girls, not guys, because obviously she thinks of it as boring. I don't really take pictures anyway, so I don't really care enough about that. I'm just gonna keep it a buck. But she loves to take people. I mean, take photos of people smiling i mean she's a photographer we already know she doesn't hesitate to be you know a little bit rude to people out there that be trying to be disrespectful like a certain man out there fuyuhiko but i mean she don't like people who likes manners especially with the whole you know nekamara with the when there's some problem it's some dookie and i'm not gonna say what he actually said but y'all know what i mean though y'all know what it is though but, 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 you know what I'm saying? She was, she did become friends with Hyoko, which is kind of crazy, though. I ain't gonna lie. That's kind of, it's kind of tough, though. How are you gonna say you don't like people that like manners, but yet yeah, Hyoko literally out there disrespecting me kind of like it's no tomorrow? What kind of hypocrisy is this? But yeah, like I said, B plus, Smash and Mary. That's the best I can say. No, me kind, su, 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 su,
Mikan. Of course, she's a nurse, the ultimate nurse, whatever you want to call it. And of course, this will make you think she's a Smash or Mary, right? Right? No, absolutely not. Especially if you know about the other scenes. I'm going to be honest with you. If you know about the show scenes, yeah, you, you know it's kind of crazy. You know it's kind of crazy. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say about anything about it, but look, literally look up Mikan Sumaki and look up the Dog Robot 3 anime. I promise you. Or even look up Ryota's thing, and I promise you, you'll find out what Mikan was trying to do. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, it was, it was crazy, it was kind of real. I, I promise y'all, I'm, I'm putting y'all on game. Best believe, I'm putting y'all on game with that Danganronpa 3 anime thing. I'm, I'm putting y'all on game. Anyway, uh, anyway, um, yeah, you know what I mean? She's kind of fragile, I mean, she got low self-esteem, she kind of got bullied, she got abused a lot, so she kind of deals with that, so she's kind of like in a sad scenario case with that. She kind of stutters a lot. She apologizes a lot. She's always wor worried about being annoying, boring, and, you know, probably making people offended. Even though she's really trying to be nice to other people. You know how it is. It's kind of tough. But usually it depends, though. But, unfortunately, I mean, but, but she tries to, you know, act, well, I don't mean unfortunately, but fortunately... She tries to act more confident doing her job. And she's very knowledgeable and intelligent when it comes to medicine stuff. Because obviously she's the ultimate nurse. She's going to know about most of that stuff. And she knows about the autopsy reports and everything. And I ain't going to lie to you. And I will say this though. She was very, and I mean very strategic when it came to autopsy report. Because we almost, if she, if she literally caught us slipping and we believed in her autopsy report. We would have lost the case the whole game right there if you did but if you if you were smart enough and you paid attention good enough hey you knew what would happen honestly but but yeah honestly she had a whole disease with along with the kind and me kind of course but i mean it was worse with you know me kind because me kind was out there going crazy on despair i ain't gonna lie to you Oh yeah, but she, you know, she's very good at, you know, reading people's face, which is pretty interesting, pretty good to have. But, let's just get to the small thing of it, though, but, I would say Smash, and I would say, dang, it's kind of tough, because, if that's like a good, marriageable woman, just the fact that her despair disease thing kind of just messed everything up. So, I'm going to say it like this, if we're including... Despair disease into it. I will just dag on say. I would probably say, smash and leave. Honestly, if that's the case. However, if we're just referring to, if we're not referring to it, and it's just we're just talking just me and her, just at the school, just chilling vibe. Smash and Mary, get it out of the way. I think we agree with that. Okay. Anyway, and she's an A minus as a character. Just. I did not like when she kept saying what, what multiple times. It just annoys me. When a character just says what, 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 what the entire time. Like, no, I don't want to hear what, what, what 24-7. I just want the daggone vibe and play the game. Like, like stop doing that. Monokuma, is, do I really need to talk about him? He's S-tier. He's always going to be S-tier no matter what. Even Ultra Despair Girls when he just sits there and do nothing. Even when he's out there just laughing like, <laughs> the entire time. He's he's gonna be S tier no matter what. No debate. Next one, Monami. Oh my goodness. Where do I where do I begin with her? Because Monami is like the epitome of She's cool, but then she's annoying at the same time. Like imagine you have a nice sweet girl that's naive and stupid sometimes. And she's very easy to trick at all times. And then she can go out there and fight a mono beast. And if you don't know what Mono Beasts are, Mono Beasts are them things that are like that. Imagine going up against a Titan. Imagine that attack on Titan right there. And you're going up against straight up Titans that go out there and they can box you up. And you deal with that. Yeah, that's a problem. Regardless of how you feel. And, you know, she's very careful about the en environment and stuff. And you can't throw trash anywhere. You gotta... Put it in the trash can or something. Otherwise, if you let her, she's going to be out there on your tail. She'll be whooping your tail. But, like, she wants people to get along, get a bond together. You know how it is. But, 
All of this makes her a Smash Mary material, but she's a rabbit and she's, you know, a robot, so I'd have to pass her. But if she was a human, it'd be a Smash Mary as well, but we know how it comes off. You know what I'm saying? We know how it comes off. But yeah, her character, though, I'd have to give her a B minus. Unfortunately, only because of the fact that she does get a really bit annoying, though. If she wasn't a bit annoying, I'd actually give her A minus as well. And plus, I can give everyone A minuses because I mean it's it's an A minus. I can't just give everyone that. I really can't. And I don't not want to give her everyone A minus because there might be a few other characters that might get A minuses, but I don't want to deal with characters and keep giving them A minuses twenty four seven. That's just me though. But yeah, she's a B minus. Now we have the other characters coming up. So now we have Nagito Komeda. So, without further ado with that, that one's pretty much easy said and done. I mean, like, so, you know, first, you know, he was a cool dude. You know, he's friendly. You know, he's, you know, he's going. He's just polite. You know, he's just a nice guy. Got a bright smile. He's happy. You know, he's out there trying to help his boy Hajime out. Even when, and he was very caught, you know, very concerned about Hajime's well-being because Hajime's out there on the ground, on the beach stand. He's like, hey, you okay, bro? He's like, leave me alone. Like, just like a little pupubescent, pupu, wait, what the heck am I trying to say? Is that, am I trying to say pupubescent or something? You know what? I'm not even going to say the word. But teenager. Like a little, like teenager that's in his face the entire time. That's literally what he sounded like. But, 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 that when he was in that class trial, that man became a menace. That man's eyes was a menace, bro. Like, that dude was him. And after that, he was him. There's so many instances that he was him that I said, you know what? He got it. Y'all want to know the craziest thing this man literally done? He literally went up there to the school. Imagine you are at the school. And you go up there and say, I want to find who the traitor is. And guess how you find the traitor? He literally blows up a school. Man, that man, Kazuichi Soda, was sent flying, bro. Like, imagine you're out there like, we got this. We got this. Okay, we got him. We got him in the position. Boom, you hear that? Kazuichi Soda just gets banged in the sidelines. Then you just hear the most sinister laugh of all sports entertainment. I'm not going to do the laugh because I'm not waking up my neighbors and I'm not going to wake up my mom and dad on that account. I'm not. But that man's laugh was a pure menace. He was the epitome of, oh my goodness, what the heck is going on? What the heck are we doing? Because that man was literally a menace. I'm sorry. He was the epitome of what a menace was. There's Junko. Junko was being a petty menace. This man was a menace just because he wanted Hope to supposedly win. And this defeat despair easily like what like what the heck is that doggy told you about to kill all the people of hope you almost killed so katsuichi soda talk about some hope bro like what like ain't no way talking about some hope and you literally about got everyone killed ain't no way which is actually insane but this man wants a stronger hope to beat the weak to devour the weak hope and i'm like Oh, brother, this guy, even with the whole penguin can never fly, the big dog will always win against the smaller dog. The underdog has no chance of winning in the light. And I'm just like, bro, shut your goofy tail up. Don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that crap. But out of respect for him, he is an S tier, though. He is an S tier, what do you ever want to call him? You want to call him anti villain? Call him anti villain. You want to call him anti hero? Call him that. If you want to call him the goat, call him the goat. I'll actually even let you call him the goat of goats. Like, literally, he's that guy. Like, he was that petty, and, and look, I think everyone liked them. It's not more compared to Dog Rope and 3, uh, Kokichi, but I mean, hey, Nagito was just that guy that everyone was like, bro, we hate you, but we love you at the exact same time. It was no debate, bro. I'm not even gonna lie to you. But he was great with what he did, honestly. Like, he was very, very great, and I'm not even mad at it. Okay, anyway, Negomaru Nidai. I think we can all agree that Negomaru... Okay, I think, yeah, he's a very passionate 
guy who supports, you know, athletes. He got them bad stunt problems, which, I mean, there's another name for it. I'm not going to try and say the name, and I'm not going to look up the name, but... Yeah, he's very optimistic. He has that strong willpower. And I was like, he's not really all that smart, though. But, hey, if you make if anything makes you feel comfortable, he gonna talk about it. He be like, oh, you gotta take a dump? Ain't nothing wrong with you gotta take a dump. It happens to the best of us, man. Don't worry. Go out there and take a dump. It's okay. And yeah, that man was talking about taking a dump. I'm like, this man out here don't mind. He don't care. He's like, I'm gonna take a dump. <laughs> hey, and I understand. Don't even get me wrong. I understand. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> I'm just keeping it bugging. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Because <laughs> Nakamura, when he died, it was not playing. But he, he is kind, though. And he does be doing that good massages, though. Which, if if that's if I can... Oh, hold on. Let me, let me talk to my representative. Hey, uh, representative. Hey, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Uh, can I even... Can I even show that video? Not, not video, but text. Can I show that text? Like, let me know. Can I show? Can I show him that text? Can I? Can I show him that part? Like the screenshot? Can I? Okay, I can. Okay, it's legal. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. So my representative said it was legal. So here, here's this picture right here. Boom, right here. So he, he got the best massages apparently because that girl was out there, weak in the knees for that massage, and she was out there saying that she wanted it, that she wanted more of it. She's like. No, wait, I can't live without it. <laughs> I, can't, I can't live without it. <laughs> oh my goodness, bro. Hey, I tell you. Hey, hey, Nekomaru, Nekomaru knows how to pick him. <laughs> he knows how to pick him. I'm not going to lie. He knows how to pick him. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be like that. But yeah, anyway. But I mean, I can also... But I will think I should probably give him an A tier, honestly. Only because, another reason, which was because he risked his life along with Nekomaru Nekom and Gundam is not going to both risk their lives for that fight just so everyone else can leave. But that was like the most epic fight, supposed epic fight, just so they could fight and do what they needed to do. Like, that was kind of cool. I was like, bro, this man really went out there and said, hey, let's do it just so we can help the people out. And because I want to actually box you. And they both wanted to bo box, bro. And you know, Sonya was like, but why? Why? We, I, I just, we, we needed this. We needed that. Why would you fight each other? That's wrong. Like, he was like, I don't care. I want, I wanted to run that. I wanted him to run that bay. I don't care. I wanted to box him. I wanted to see if he was that guy. <laughs> hey, hey. Gunnar said, I'm that guy. <laughs> he said, I'm that guy. I survived. I cooked him up. <laughs> Which is actually hilarious. That's actually hilarious. He really said, I just wanted to, I wanted to run in my pockets. I wanted them to run that fade. Which is actually hilarious, though. Because he is a great A-tier character, though. Without a shadow of a doubt, he is a great A-tier character. And I think we can all agree with that. Now, the next one, which is, I think, Peko Pekoyama. So, yeah. Peko Pekoyama, of course, very serious, little motions, kind of similar to Ikuro, okay, Mukuro Ikusaba, I'm sorry, when she's not really impolite or nothing, but she she does, you know, take fault and blames for something that happened, like, for example, like, there's a party that happened in Chapter 1, which was the whole Tarot Tarot thing, she kind of apologized because, you know, the guard room wasn't being protected and all that stuff, and she wanted to, you know, handle that, but... You know how that is. It was terrible for her. And she cares about, you know, Fuyuhiko because she wants to be the head young master. Like, bro, I'm, so, I'm sick and tired of hearing that. But look, my young master. Like, And she says that a whole bunch, which that ticks me off sometimes. But I mean, yeah. it happens though. And she really just wants Fuyuhiko to wish to be coming true, which Fuyuhiko didn't want that. Fuyuhiko just wanted to just be around her, just be by her side, which that's actually sad, man. That's all he really wanted was her. Her just to be a part of, be a family. Like, literally, it's that hard for him to do that. That's kind of suck. Which actually does suck. Like, bro, imagine, bro. You're just out there doing your thing, and then they just do you dirty like that. I'd be mad, too. I'd be like, bro, I just wanted you to be with my family. Why would you out there doing dumb nonsense like this? Like, why? 
Like, why would we do this? And they did it. They didn't care. And yeah, she died, unfortunately. But hey, at least Maru had a good, nice piece of sleep. Because she just killed him. Anyway, I'm going to say this, though. I'll give her a B plus, though. I'd say smash and leave, honestly. That's the best I can say for her. But, hey. Maru, I'm sorry that you got cooked, though. You didn't deserve to get cooked that bad, though. But, unfortunately, it was a, it was a sin that happened. Because of your friend, Sato. Let's, let's, let's all put a prayer down for her. And salute her. For her unfortunate death. There you go. Anyway. Alright. But yeah. Next one with the Sonya. Never mind. Of course, she's a very cheerful, polite girl, you know. she She's interested in Japanese culture, but she's into the cult. So that's kind of... I ain't gonna lie. Being into the cult for me, it's like a bad scenario case. So I'd say... I would have said Smash and Mary if she wasn't believed. If she did not believe in the cult. But... I will say... I will probably would say smash and leave, but I do not, I would not want to be around cult though. But she is a princess though. She does like the shout when she's upset or she's in stress though. And she's very calm, especially in the killing game. She's not, you know, the type to you know scream around like a crazy maniac. So you know how that goes. But yeah, I'd give her like I said. I think I would give her honestly. I want to say I'll just give her a B plus, honestly, because it's not like she's the worst, but she's okay, though. She's okay, in my opinion. But yeah, I think she's like a smash and leave, honestly. Only because of the cult thing. If she didn't have the cult thing going on, I'd say smash and marry. That's just me, though. That's just me. But yeah, next one, which is Teru Teru. I'm sorry, and I know some of y'all are going to... It's 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 either it's it's a, either you like them or you hate them, but let me say it like this. I cannot... Stand, Teru Teru Hanamura. I cannot stand this short tail, sorry tail, useless, no good pervert of a freak of nature that wants to touch on other girls, do weird stuff. He's a good cook, don't get me wrong, he's a good cook, but he's terrible. I don't care about him, I hope no one cares about him. He's garbage. I do not care about him. He can stay into the dirt where he belongs. D minus. Heck, I'd even put him at F tier. Put him at F tier or D minus. Y'all let y'all decide. But I'm putting him at F tier. And moving on. Now, the next three girls, which is the ones I mentioned. So, Natsumi Kuzuryu, obviously, that's Fuiko's little sister. Of course, she's kind of smug about it. She's kind of egotistical. I mean, you know, I mean, she's more crazy, more violent than, you know, Fuiko himself, which is. Kind of saying a lot. And all the other stuff. But pretty much she's supposed to be worthy of the y Yaksa Harris. You know, Harris or whatever. Now look, I think she's still kind of good in her own way. Especially in her own show. But I would say Smash and Date only if she, you know, understands that, hey, I'm not the, I'm not the enemy. I'm not the enemy. I'm just her friend. I'm just a friend of me. I'm not an enemy. I'm a friend. Oh, my bad. I hope she knows I'm a... It's a I'm, Oh my goodness. I hope that she knows I'm the friend within her. Not the friend of me. There you go. Or the enemy in general. But <clears throat> but yeah. I'd say smash and date. And I'd probably say an A. Honestly? I probably would give her a B plus though. Yeah, I'd give her a B plus honestly. Now, um... I think Sato's next. Yeah, Sato is next. And of course, she's a very defensive person. She would do anything to protect her friends. Especially who when it was my hero. Which, if you know about Dog Ripper 2 case, you know that whole thing happened about the whole murder case and all that stuff. And she let it be a teacher pervert, whatever, from the other school. Da 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 da. You catch the drift of it. If you play the game, you understand what it is. I'm not going to try and spoil it 24 7, but. I mean, even though I'm going to have a spoiler warning regardless in there. But you know how it is. But yeah. She pretty much did. She killed Natsume. To supposedly protect Mayuru. And then she tried to just make it look like a pervert did it. 
and she just denies that. And Hajime literally, the Hajime, yeah, Hajime Inada literally said, "Hey." He just questioned her about it like one a few of a few little times. She just like, oh my goodness, he keeps asking me about it. And then she just runs away from him screaming that she has a strong will to live and then it's dipped. And I'm like, bro, this girl's a menace. She just does not care and she's gonna start more beef. I'm like, why? But yeah, honestly, I'd pass though. I don't think she looks that good though. But her character though, I'd give her a mouse. Now Chisa is the last character, and obviously. She's up here last, I guess, for a reason. I mean, I, without a debate, she's a smash and marry. Like, she's a smash and marry. And I think her character is a good... A, I would say A+, plus actually. I'm not going to bore y'all with the whole long details of why she's A+, plus or why she's even A tier in general. I mean, she's positive. I mean, her and Chiaki were both kind of carrying that team. I ain't going to lie to you. She's a great homeroom teacher. She kind of got manipulated a little bit. But she was very resistant to it, so I'll give her credit on that. She was very resistant to it for so long. And she was always able to take care of the students, always do certain different things to communicate with her students better, even when it came to Mikan and it came to Fuyuhiko. So it was pretty good, though. And she was very devoted to taking care of them and all that stuff. Whether it be, you know, student friends in general, which, hey, I was very surprised, very happy that she was cooking good and all that stuff. But yeah. Honestly, I'ma stop it here. And uh honestly, y'all. Don Group of Three is gonna be out sooner or later. I don't know when. But more likely, like with other videos, I'm gonna be doing the My Hero not my hero, but Overwatch stuff. Like I gotta do like the tank the tank games like with Sigma and other tanks out there. That that way it's kinda gonna be like how I do admire to rumble with it because I didn't do the other fuse, which I'm pretty sure that's what people are waiting on is the Overwatch stuff. So yeah, we're gonna do that, y'all. And of course what I'm pretty much going to do is the Amori videos. I'm probably gonna have Amori because if y'all want me to do Amori now, I'll probably do that as a video rather than a live stream type of thing. But I know y'all want to see it as a live stream type of thing, probably. Which is my only main concern, though. But I'll see how it goes, though. And uh, with the other videos in play or in mind, I'll see how it, you know, kind of goes exactly. But yeah, y'all, I'm going to stop the video here. Now, of course, if y'all want to, you know, see... See how the game goes out here. I'll let the game kind of go out here. Because, you know, just in case. You know, I always do that for most of the videos. Unless, like I said, I have to stop it. Which, probably I might not be able to do it fully. But, I'll probably do clip after clip. But, because I got to put every kind of character in here. But, yeah. I'll see y'all probably later, though. But, actually, I lied. I probably can't show y'all the whole video. Because I, I got a whole bunch of things I got to put into the clip. But, yeah, I'll see y'all a little bit later, though. Peace and love y'all. It's time.